Hi friends, what a beautiful weekend that we have in store ahead of us. It has been another wonderful spring weekend here in the Low Country. The weather is gorgeous today and it's Mother's Day weekend. So um, I just want to commend all of the moms out there. I am as well a, a mom of three daughters and um, I, just, I, I just give all the gratitude and um, thanksgiving to those moms. And I see how hard you work. I see it because my team is made up. We are comprised of all women, um, mostly all moms. And I see the balance and the juggle that y'all uh, make each and every day, each and every week. And it's a lot to manage. So my gratitude and uh, greetings to you this weekend. So I'll be interested to hear what you have in store. Hopefully you're getting to spend it with some loved ones, um, doing some fun things. My team uh, came over to my patio and we had a patio party to celebrate Mother's Day and also just kind of have some, some fun together. We work hard. The, this team of ladies, buyers uh, and listings as well, we, we work hard at this time of the year. So we just took a moment out of our busy schedule uh, and I got to celebrate these ladies that are on my team. So my thanks to Frankie because he came over and um, played chef on my patio this morning. So uh, we, we really got to indulge in a beautiful brunch. So the numbers, what is the market doing? I always like to bring you some facts and figures and tell you really what is the market doing because the media is gonna tell us kind of on a national level what the real estate industry is doing, but really it's a very localized market here in Charleston. So if you own real estate in this area, then you should know what your investment is doing. For most of it, our real estate is our largest investment. And so I'm here to kind of bring you some facts and figures as to what that is is. So we are still heavily in a seller's market. And I say that because we only have one and a half months of inventory active right now on our MLS. One and a half months of inventory traditionally in a very normalized market, then we'd be looking at about five months of inventory, five to six months of inventory. So we are still vastly low with our inventory. We had a great week of sales with 365 uh, sales that are now pending from this week alone. So that is great for buyers. It's great for my sellers. However, it just already, uh, it, 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 it kind of hurts our already very low inventory for those that are actively looking to purchase in our market. I will tell you our median sales price, Charleston's getting to be a very expensive area to buy in. Our median sales price is 405,000 as of this week. So um, we are really pushing that mark up. And there were 20 homes. I wanna give you the, the right stat here. I believe I'm telling you correctly. Um, there were 20 homes that sold in Mount Pleasant that were single family. That is a lot for Mount Pleasant with its vastly low inventory. Um, significantly uh, lower uh, inventory than even last year. So um, people think of, you know, the, the numbers of, of what we had to deal with last year in the very aggressive, I guess is a good way to put it, a very aggressive market in 2022. Um, 2023 is proving to be very, very similar. However, I will tell you that our median sales price is up three and a half, I'm sorry, 3.9% over 2022 numbers. So our overall sales is down about 25% from last year. Our inventory is still low comparatively to last year, and our prices are up. Our, our sales median prices are up. So you're not losing money on your investment. A very healthy market is going to give you um, between four and five percent increase in your investment each year in real estate. And we're right there at it at three and a three point nine percent over last year's numbers, increasing gain in your equity. So we're still in a very healthy market. It's a stable market. I encourage you to continue to invest in this market. If you own real estate and you say, well, my interest rate is so great that I don't want to sacrifice moving, let's talk about that. Let's maybe turn that property that you're in now that's maybe not fitting your needs just so. Maybe it's a little too much space or maybe it's not enough space. You need a little more elbow room. 
let's talk about it because we can turn that property into a rental property. Now you're showing that as income and it can help leverage you into the buying power uh, for a place that may be more properly fit for you. If you need help buying or selling, reach out to me. My team serves all of the Charleston area as well as Somerville and we'd be honored to help. Make sure to always follow me at That SC Real Estate Chick on all my Insta, on my Instagram, on social media and on the web to learn more about us. Have a beautiful weekend.